So, the other day we were out here, back bank, caught lots of bluegill. They started biting later on at night, caught about 10. But uh, overnight, once we put out some fresh cut bait, we caught even better cut bait. So the secret weapon is in this tank right here. Secret weapon for catching lots of catfish. You guys might consider them garbage fish, but I love them. So keep throwing them back in and give them to me because I will turn that stinky turd and do a golden nugget. Buddy, you want to help daddy net a fish? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? I'm what do we got? We got big fishy? Yeah. Oh, let's get rid of this little guy. He might be cut bait later. Alright, there it is. Oh, I, I got big Dogfish is excellent cut bait. Cut that up, chunk that meat up, throw her on a big treble hook, and I pulled in some of the biggest fish I've ever caught on that. So that's your hook to hunt it. Take her home, put her in her pocket. All right, I told you about my secret bait. Uh, good time to use it. So let's show you what we got. My my live wheel here. I'm going with the boards for. Catfish Northern, they'll hit that board so hard, it'll knock it off and it'll jump out of this. So, let me see what we got down yonder. Northern. Dogfish, like that guy right there. <laughs> Throw him in the live well. Chop them up. Also, another important thing about the dogfish, you cannot freeze it first, thaw it back out, and use it. Catfish don't like it. It gets super slimy. Same reason why eating dogfish for us tastes awful. It's most people freeze it first, you thaw it back out, and it's nasty. You can't eat it. So, catfish don't want to eat it. We definitely don't like it. Uh, but if you can have it fresh, you'll catch a lot of catfish. All right, well, just got done cleaning a whole lot of catfish, and I looked down and pretty sure I got another fish on. So let's go check her out. Alright. 
More. <laughs> More catfish for the fish fry. <laughs>